Hey Sinners, this is Centra and we're here with another garden update. It's really hot and I've been neglecting some things and we're gonna go investigate all the things I've been neglecting. That sounds really fun, doesn't it? Um, let's see, where to start, where to start. I'll start with some little things and then show you the overall picture. Uh, flipping around. I bought some strawberries, even though it's pretty late. I just bought root balls and it was doing really good and it was really healthy. And then I just let it sit here too long and it's really hot out and the water was getting hot. So most of it's starting to die now, but some of it's still trying to, trying to grow back despite my abuse. So this needs to get in the ground, but I have to build a rabbit proof netting around it and shade cloth because it's way too hot or this stuff's not going to survive. I've got my blueberry bush, which is not doing well. Um, it's hot, even though I'm keeping it over here out of the sun. It needs to be in the ground, but right now I can't plant it because it's too hot. But we do have a lot of new growth, so it's not dying per se. The fish are actually doing pretty good. The water is a little dirty. I think you guys can see them shooting around in there. Let's see if I do this, they'll probably think I'm feeding them. Do they? Do they? Are they dumb? Are they dumb? Yeah, I can see them running around in there. There you go. I think it's something to clean the water up a little bit. All my other stuff this is my mosquito proofing plant. I don't know if it's working. Fig tree could be doing better. I really need to find somewhere to plant it permanently. Moved the compost pile from the very corner to the middle there. I'm gonna use that up, compost it down and use it. And then I'm gonna do the compost pile somewhere else because I don't want it there in the corner. I might put the fig tree there. Um, over here, he's got a bad case of the spider mites. I finally planted the grapevine. Um, but there's a lot of spider mites going on in here. Let's see if I can find any for you to see. I can see some of the webbing, but not any concentrated enough. You guys will probably see it on camera. Um, I do have some grapes that probably taste like grapes, but they're probably super, super tiny. Let me see. Oh, oh. It tastes like a grape. Legit tastes like a grape. Um, ooh, it is bitter though probably because they were going, growing so slowly. So I've been treating this with nim oil, but I've not been consistent, which has always been my problem is consistency. So let's come down over here. This whole thing that I installed uh, is not working as intended. It was supposed to kill all the grass. It really hasn't done that at all. And it's all ripping up and coming up. So this was a failed thing. I should have used plastic if I wanted to kill the grass. So all this is gonna get ripped up soon. Um, I put the lemon tree out here into full sun. It's doing okay. Um, it's got a few new leaves on it. The sun's probably beating it down pretty good. I put it up against the fence so we'll get some shade. Um, this I've been watering heavy. Doesn't look like it obviously is very dead. Um, there is some soft new leaves, but not many. Is it bone dry? I bet it's bone dry bone dry. I've been watering it almost every day, but it's just, it's so hot out here. It's hard to keep it damp enough. This here, it's kind of moist in there. Let's see, I've got some flowers over there. So here's the garden. My flowers are actually doing really well. I've got them on a separate timer now, so it's watering on a daily basis. Let's see. Here are my pepper plants that I spread out. Um, the peppers are doing really well. Peppers obviously like heat. These are my snack peppers. I was waiting for you guys to try one. Uh, this is that little tiny one. So making sure there's not any bugs on it or anything. There's a little tiny snack pepper. Oh no! Oh, I dropped it. Where did the snack pepper go? Let's see. I probably shouldn't have ate it with the seeds. It tastes kind of like a warm literally and uh, flavorly uh what do you call it green pepper these i think are green peppers actually got a lot of really big green peppers i need some cooking ideas because i need something to do with these my banana peppers i really need to pick these these guys are try to get in my hands you can get an idea how long they are they're good for stuffing I've not done it. See the plant's leaning over. It's got so much fruit on it. These are spicy Baja Persian peppers, I think. Look at him. He's party. It's got quite a few on there. There's 
quite a few. You're supposed to know it's ready to pick once they start cracking, is what I heard, is when they're at their full ripeness. Let's see. This one does the black bell peppers. This is the Sintaka or Thai hot, I'm not sure. He has clusters of these little red peppers. Those are very hot. I did try one. Over here is Poblanos. This guy right here in the middle. Um, I picked a pretty big poblano off him not too long ago. This isn't even near as big as the other one was. These are actually, they're not very hot. They're like 2,000 on the scotch scale or whatever, but it's still pretty hot to me. There's a reason I'm growing mainly sweet peppers. I am not good at eating hot, hot peppers. These ones I ended up moving out because it was too cramped in there, I thought. They're not doing well. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Cucumber bushes plants are doing well but they do have some aphid infestations that I haven't been tending to well. And I should probably order some ladybugs, but I haven't. Let's see if I can find a good infested leaf for you. Ooh, good, goodness, that one had a spider. Okay, let's flip this leaf over. You guys can see those little white bugs right there in the back. I think you guys can see it all right. Those, I believe, are aphids, and they are sucking the life out of the plant. But there's a lot of spiders, and I saw some ladybugs, I don't right now, that are trying to take care of it. Holy crap. This is a big cucumber. Let me, do you see me holding this? Do you have an idea of how big it is compared to me? I will pick him soon. I've learned not to rip them off because that doesn't work so well. Here's a cucumber down here. Let's come down here. Here's a cucumber. He's pretty good size. Let's see. There's a couple other ones in there I know. That was the same one. Ah, uh, there's a few hidden in here. It's a little shorty. Ooh, that's that guy. They hide in there really well. You really have trouble finding them sometimes. Wow, that guy is really big. Again, give you an idea of the size there. Now let's come over here and look at tomatoes. Tomatoes are always exciting. So this one has a terrifying spider. Oh god, where is he? I don't see him. It has a really scary fucking yellow and black spider that's been living there. Oh, oh god, I see him. I see him. Oh my god. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, let me look. I don't think I can get you guys where you, oh, you guys can probably see it right there in the middle. That terrifying demon. Right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus on him. I kind of don't want it to focus on him. Oh my god, he's so scary! So down here I've got some tomatoes I probably need to pick when I'm not terrified of the huge spider. And then these are some Roma tomatoes. Uh, those are my first, that's my first Roma tomato. I haven't had one yet. Then my cherry tomatoes, I picked some yesterday. I don't know if this video footage can really do justice to just how many are out here. There's a lot. There's a lot. Let's see. There's a good one. Ooh, there's, there's spider mites on these plants too. Mm. They are really sweet. Well, I'll show you some spider mites. There we go. I think they're spider mites, or they could be white fly or something else. Oh, this one's good. Good, but bad. Okay. See, so the spotting on the leaf that you may or may not be able to see is due to them. And they're these little guys, and they're eating. You can see the little webbing. They're sucking the juice out of the leaves. And the plant's doing okay to spite it. Um, but I'm probably going to use some Nim Oil on that later once it cools down a little bit. Got some basil down there that's doing really good. I've got these bugs that keep devastating my uh, 
tomatillo plants like completely eat all the leaves off it and the tomatillo bounces right back it's got a lot of flowers that's actually probably a pickable tomatillo right there yeah there's a tomatillo I can eat him picking him now right here are my watermelons I've actually picked two cantaloupes so far and there's actually another one to be picked that I was saving for you guys but he has a crazy spider on him too uh, I hate spiders Okay. Oh, am I zoomed in still? Yeah, let's see if I can get in there without dying. Oh, I don't want to die. Okay. Okay, just do it. Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Ah, set it down. So there we go. There's a little cantaloupe. He's good. He's probably got about ten bites in there. There's a really weird bee on me. There's ants on him, of course, that are trying to... Ah, what is that? Ah. Ooh, yeah, he's got some sort of weird juicy nectar gonna run up real fast set him down set him down so they're doing well it's getting really hot I've thought about shade clothing everything but I probably won't bother um, this guy has some sort of infestation on him as well you can see all these a lot of these leaves are turning yellow um, I need to fertilize but something's probably eating it as well I'm not sure um, but yeah, I think I'm going to come out here later tonight and do a round of fertilizer because he's starting to yellow up good. Over here, this is exciting because this is my first squash plant. Um, you can apparently eat these blooms and I've got a lot of those going on. There's one of my first squash right there. Look at him. He's pretty. There's a lot of squash in there. There's a really thick stem. Um, the plant seems healthy, though there are a few leaves that look like they may have something going on. Um, and then here are some more squash plants. And I started these two or three weeks ago, these little tiny ones you see. It's really hot, so it droops when it's hot, but once it cools down, it, it perks right back up. You can see new leaves starting to grow right in the middle, so I think these guys are actually doing okay. Um, hopefully that'll get watered soon. I'll probably water it later tonight so it can have water all night. Um, these are the potatoes. I'm letting them continue to grow because they do seem like they're still living pretty good on the top. These are the failed beds. Jeez, what is ripping up all this? There is something down here ripping this stuff. I'm scared I'm going to step on an animal. Um, this is a random weed that's pretty with its big pur purple pretty flowers of death. This thing has so many thorns on it. Um, but this right here, I, I de-weeded de this, but it's weeded up again. I was going to do the strawberry bed here, um, but I've got to build some sort of rabbit fence around it first. These two beds are the failed beds right now. So overall, it's going okay. There's still a lot to do. These here are, uh, they're actually uh, lettuce. This is lettuce that I'm, I've just been let go crazy. It's not edible, never be edible. I'm just letting it go crazy to seed and the little flowers have been making the bees happy. Um, yeah, so that's about, about it. Uh, pepper plants, tomato plants doing good. I'll show you guys the flower a little bit. Got to come down here and pick those cucumbers. I might do some quick pickling today. I guess I could do a video on that, but I don't know. So this right here are the flowers. This is some cilantro. The cilantro actually is probably... Yeah, the cilantro could be used to cook something. It's not even bolted yet. This stuff right here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I think that may be monarch butterfly seeds. Maybe. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in a little bit. Wait, wait. Stop, stop. They might be. That's what monarchs lay their eggs on, but I don't know if that's what's going on there. So we've got a lot of flowers going on. Some of these I started from seeds, some of them I bought. Here's my day lily. Uh, our second round of sunflowers are about to bloom. As you can see, I probably got 20 sunflowers kind of compacted in there. And I've got these little tiny succulent flowers. And this right here is to catch some of the water from the spray there to provide something to drink for bugs. You would think I wouldn't want to do that, but I'd want butterflies and bees and stuff to be able to drink. 
Yeah, so, oh, this basil's actually doing really good. Mm, that basil, basil smells really good. And this, all this cilantro has gone to seed. So I actually can collect these seeds sometime. Yeah, these cilantro seeds, I don't know if they're good for growing or cooking or what, but I should look that up. That's my succulent basket I made. It's doing okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy exciting. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. It's so hot. It's so hot. Next year, I want to do uh, make those tunnels where you take two rebarb stakes and then you do a PVC pipe to make a loop, and then you'll I can run stuff over it. So in the when it gets really cold in the winter, when it starts to go into winter, and then when it starts to warm up in the fall, I can put plastic over it to keep it warm, like a little greenhouse. But during the summer, when like right now when it's super hot. I can put shade cloth over the top instead because these poor plants, it's so hot. It's like a hundred and something degrees right now. Whew, turn that right there. Um, so that's it, just giving you guys an update. Um, I don't have any big plans right now. It's just, it's so hot. It's so hot. I do got to start planning for the winter garden even though it's a few months away. Uh, I've got to set up inside. I've got stuff set up so I can start cloning some plants if I want to. Um, I have so many cherry tomatoes, I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to try to eat some cherry tomatoes today, and I'm going to pick those cucumbers and slice them up and do some quick pickling. And that's kind of where you heat up vinegar, sugar, whatever flavoring, seasonings you're going to use. Uh, and then put the cucumber slices in there. Do it for a second, then put them in jars, cool them off, stick them in the refrigerator real quick. And it gives you kind of a pickling effect, but not as strong as normal pickles would be if they've sat there and pickled for a long time in the vinegar. I don't know. I'm going to see. Um, so this is Centris signing out. I hope you guys like the update. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to see in the next video or if you have any ideas for things for me to cook with the stuff I currently have. And of course we're ending with a cat being really annoying. He's just, he really wants outside. He really wants outside. So this is what we're going to end with. <laughs>